Okay guys, we came to a rather interesting shopping center. Now China is a land of shopping centers. This one, however, is a little bit special because inside in a particular area is full of um, frog props from the uh, that made to look 1920s Shanghai, which is really quite charming. So looking forward to give it a go. Yeah. Are you, what are you looking for? Hmm, mini sir. So yeah. um, by the way, I forgot to mention the uh, shopping center is actually an underground shopping center. So gonna be quite interesting so these two decided to go via stairs so as I said this shopping center is quite interesting because it has many in a particular area it was made to look like 1920s Shanghai and um, it has this rather unique charm so we're gonna go and uh, try to find it where Oh yeah, okay, so you can see Shanghai. Where? Where is... So that's food, so I guess it's... <laughs> Got a lazy bear. <laughs> Got a lazy bear. Oh, I like your outfit. Really cool. Okay, guys. I got pop, pop marks. This is so much money. Like Blind box. These things are cute. Right. Okay, guys. So we find the Ye Shanghai, Shanghai at night. As you can see, everything here was made to look like 1920s. Shanghai, which is of course famous for his uh, longshoremen's walking on the harbor, neon lights, and of course highlights of Shanghai nights, full of people in old Shanghai clothes. Oh wow! Look at this place. Finally. <laughs> You've been looking forward to this one. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah? we we've seen it on uh, we've seen it on on, on on video and we want to see it. Check out, check this out, check this guy, uh, check out this guy. So a little cat and the track. Everything is made to look like 1920 Shanghai. Even the dress, look, the dresses, the telephone, this thing, lights. Oh wow, yeah, look, the old vintage movie posters. Uh, neon lights. Wow, this place is amazing. I love it. Wow. Wow, this place. I'm going to proper explore this area. So this is 1920s, 1910. Dresses like that. Oh, by the way, guys. If you have seen the famous uh, Hong Kong comedy movie, Kung Fu Hustle, that was based in a similar sort of uh, era, e e e even if it's not based in the same area. Uh, <laughs> so Shanghai is quite far away from Guangzhou province, but Shanghai has been, always has been, even in the 1920s, the economic superpower of China. It's always been the most modern, Oh, I love these. <coughs> Shi Shang Shanghai Da Bai Huo. Wow. I love the track. Right, Amber is looking for anime with her um, bathroom towel jacket. Okay, so we are following the train track. Oh, comic book store. All right, we've got some cosplay costumes. Wow, I love the old. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> so many anime shops. Um, so today is a Tuesday, what, Tuesday afternoon now. So that explains why it's a little bit quiet. <laughs> Look at this guy. Right, so this, guys, is uh, Beijing Opera. This is not definitely not part of Shanghai, Shanghai, but um, I guess it's a good touch. Now, ah, this place is a shopping center. Like this is quite awesome. Okay, guys, we're here for a while now. What do you think so far? Uh, it looks really unique. Uh, it's got the combination of um, olden times and the yeah. LED lights and it's really cool, yeah. Gu Yun Jin Yeah? Yeah. That basically means old stuff um, but displayed with the modern touch. Wow. I'm a sucker for lantern, so... You want one? Okay, sure. Oh, these are like... Yeah, so... These are called painting first rather than candy. So these are candies, but you can see. So I painting into uh, different stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, pepper paper. What did you end up getting? Uh, like marshmallow tang hong kind of. Just a normal marshmallow, yeah? Yeah. What did you do? You chickened out on these things? Mm, I don't know. You haven't tried it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, guys, look. Lion dance heads. So, I don't know if you watched that movie, Once Upon a Time in China, uh, played by Jet Li. Lion Down's head represents honor in a particular family. Struggling to open. Oh wow, this is... That's <laughs> so vintage. Oh wow, guys, look. This is, uh, this is the TV that I grew up <laughs> used to back in 1980s. Wow, this whole thing, this whole decoration with the tiny windows, a TV on the outside. This is such an artistic replicate. Banksy, everyone? Anyone? <laughs> wow, can you believe this is not a theme park, but rather This lady is uh, tuning. Rather in the shopping center, sorry, yeah. <laughs> oh wow, okay. This is interesting. This is what life looked like, I don't know, a couple of hundred years ago. Right next to clothes machines. <laughs> what a contrast. I wonder what that is. That's not a lantern. So this is um, a pharmacy with Chinese medicines. The doctor is uh, getting the correct prescriptions for the couple. Wow, more claw machines. Look, Amber's excitement. Look, look. <laughs> what have you seen? What have you seen that made you jump up? Cinnamon roll and cinnamon 
think I had the last one in the world. Yeah. Um, Hong Kong Pee Wee and Pachango. So this little guy with a big head. Oh wow, look at this. This really has ceased to be a, a shopping center. Wow, look at the paintings on the walls, the writings and the musical instruments. <laughs> so this guy is a professional shoe cleaner. Wow, well, guys, this, this, this place is really, really blowing my mind. Can you believe it? This is a shopping center. Can you believe it? Quite incredible, isn't it? And it just goes on and on and on and on. Buddhist uh, philosophy. Where have we stumbled upon? Okay guys, I think we are lost our way a little bit to the main thing, so we're going to go back to the main route. Okay, so Amber is now finally got her wish with uh, one of these machines. We didn't expect the ball to be this big. She's so excited, let's see what she got. It's like Christmas morning, man. <laughs> It's like Christmas morning. She can't even open it. <laughs> Hello. 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I have no idea what they are talking about. But it seems to be pretty disappointing to, about whatever they got. <laughs> no, these two are arguing now. <laughs> right, they're fighting. <laughs> so many cute stores. Taihong Tongxue, Rainbow this one, students. This one is, I do think it's where you can choose whatever you want to make and then you can customize them and stuff. Oh, phone cases. How many kids on you? Phone cases in Jibu This is, uh, this is what you get coming out with uh, ladies because they like cute stuff. It's not something that I would choose <laughs> necessarily, but you know. <laughs> Right, no. still fighting. No. No. Mum says there are so many things and you have to pick the one that you least favorite. Mm. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. <laughs> okay, we now enter ghost house. <laughs> Interesting. It made her jump. Unfortunately, I didn't catch it on um, on camera. The other thing that old Shanghai is really famous for, of course, is making movies, uh, mostly about gangsters. So there's a famous movie called Ye Shanghai, meaning Shanghai at Night. That's um, it's quite famous in China. Everybody pretty much knows about it. The actor you might know is Zhou Renfa, the guy who played in um, Crouching Tiger. It's all about gangsters. Think about Godfather, but a Chinese version. All these old, old posters <laughs> with a QR code on, <laughs> of course. Everything in China is QR code based. I love the train track. Fashion Shanghai. <laughs> wow. Go. My 
mom doesn't really like Tony because um, she does look a bit naughty. Uh, but I mean, I'm okay with her. I, I, I would be really happy if I got my other husband. Right, we're gonna take a nice picture here. See you in a bit. Okay, so the journey continues. Oh wow, this place looks cool. Lots of food seems to arrive in a food area. Wow, neon lights. Cobbler. Wow, this place just go on and on and on. Absolutely amazing. Right, I'm uh, left or right. I think they will go in a loop. So either side. Oh wow, look at the size of the prongs! What the heck are you? Look at the size of it! Wow! Should we eat here? Sure! Yeah, later, later, I'll come back. Oh wow, it's getting... So my wife is a huge seafood fan. So am I, to a lesser extent. Wow, this place, what a dragon. <laughs> Incredible place. Ah, oh, I love the posters, guys. I absolutely love posters. <laughs> it's just incredible. Man, this place just <laughs> keeps on going. There are so many food places. Oh, wow. So this is a theatre, or what make to look like a theatre. Everything is so artfully done, from the little nondescript bench to the writing with the LED lights behind it, everything just so artful. Wow, even the restaurant has uh, Three Kingdoms. Stories of Three Kingdoms, the background, as a background. Wow. Everything is so cool. <laughs> oh man, we have an old TV, old bike, and a Chairman Mao's statue. This is my kind of, uh, my kind of place. Okay guys, I think um, that's the end of Shanghai, but um, the actual shopping center continues on. This is just the uh, night Shanghai part. Okay, okay, I've spoken too early. <laughs> I 
riding shotgun. Yellow lanterns, or you don't see them very often. Wow. Oh, wow. How cool can you get? Seriously, guys, this is like my... <laughs> Incredible. I don't know, seeing this place this is a really special feeling. I like old stuff with a modern touch. The words, um, you know, the words that I just said, I can't remember, but really just showcasing a, a modern touch uh, really does bring out everything. It just make it even more special. But, you know, when we think, when we, when we romanticize the old stuff, you know, Henry VIII or the Ming Dynasty, Qing Dynasty or the Tang Dynasty, we tend to romanticize them, you know, everything is just perfection. But as a matter of fact, they mustn't be because the sanitation system must be horrible back then. So everything must be smelly and hygiene must be pretty bad. But now we're bringing out the old stuff with the modern touch. Everything just looks so much nicer with the modern convenience. Ah. Guys, I am really speechless. It is quiet because we have just passed the lunch hour. It's nearly two o'clock. I remember it's Tuesday afternoon, so. <laughs> the, the reason I feel so excited, even the writing on that window there, right in front of us, is something that I remembered seeing when I was young. So I have that sort of reverberation of memory lane. Uh, I'm not sure that can be translated to, to uh, other people, but for me, I just like, you know, with the Chairman Mao statue. <laughs> Old cartoon called Hurua. This is all my childhood stuff. Incredible. Whoever designed this, whoever designed this, oh my God, this, this guy made me jump. <laughs> With this deathly stare. Whoever designed this, man. I have no idea where I am. Oh, actually, I know, I know where this is. Okay, it's a loop. Ah, I know. Remember this lady? Oh, yeah. Right, this. <laughs> Why did you chomp? <laughs> Were you scared for something? <laughs> something scared you. What is it? Man, this, this woman's like, um, belong to Madame Tussauds. No, I mean, um, no, London Bridge uh, experience. What's it called? London Dungeon. Guys, this is uh, Ma Jiang. So this is the famous Chinese, like, uh, not card game, but one of the games. And this is all the cards. Okay, so what did you end up getting? Octopus like, yeah. Tentacles, rather. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> How much is it? 15 yuan. 15. So that's uh, just under two pounds, one pound sixty, one pound seventy. Uh, we're a bit hungry right now, so we're gonna go head for some food. Um, 
So yeah, so Amber is uh, complaining about uh, being hungry now, so we're gonna go and uh, find some food. Shouldn't be hard. That's so cool. Is this, is this real? No. Oh. That looks so real. Oh. You can actually move the pumpkin, Amber. You can move the pumpkin. Really? <laughs> yeah. Can you move them? Yeah. yeah. Right, okay, we're gonna go and get some food now. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. We really hope that you have enjoyed this uh, rather unique shopping center. Did you have a good time? Yeah, I had a really good time. Right, that's the end of this episode, guys. Wherever you are in the world, please keep safe and be happy. See you in the next episode.